All right, so in this video, we're gonna be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to eight. So at first glance, this problem may look challenging. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I'll get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln eight. And a helpful property that comes with logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to the front, so this turns into L b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get x times ln x is equal to ln 8. Now from here, I'm going to use another formula that states that if I have something in the form w of a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. And this is something known as the W Lambert formula. So if I take the W of something in the form a times e to the power of a, it's going to equal a. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this as ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 8 because x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x. So now I can use this formula. So I'm going to take the w on both sides. So I have w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to what I have to do on one side, I have to do the other side. So I w of ln 8. And this simply turns into e to the power of ln x is equal to, or sorry, ln x is equal to w of ln 8. And then now I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8, and e and ln cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. So this is my value of x. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family members, and I have a lot of problems like these on my channel, so please make sure to go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys for watching. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to seven. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by factoring out five to the power of x. So I get five to the power of x times one plus one is equal to seven. And 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get 5 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So these two cancel out. And I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So in this case, I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 5 is equal to log of 7 over 2. Now, we want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 7 over 2 over log 5. Now this turns into log of 7 minus log 2 over log 5. which is equal to 0 0.8451 minus 
0 0.3010 over 0 0.6990. And this is equal to 0 0.7784. So this is my answer.